So just one after another after another, tall, athletic, leading men are all coming from out of this country and not in this country. And, I, and Ryan Reynolds, who I thought was American, is Canadian. Canadian, yep. Um, what about Chris Evans, who did the Green Lantern? Uh, well, that is no, no, Ryan, no, no, no. Ryan Reynolds did Green Lantern. Chris Evans is doing I, I, a Captain I, I, I America. I think he's English, I think. Yeah. So... But they said all. They said the the thing that all the costume superheroes this summer have in common is they're none of them are Americans. Mm -hmm. So um, and a lot of them people you think are Americans. Uh, I mean, like I thought Ronald Reynolds was American. Yeah, but Chris not. Evans I mean, looks like it could be. I mean, you know, this is longer than what we intended, but it's going to be a long beast because it's sort of a big deal. Um, like I was watching a Doctor Who thing and. Um, they, they had, you know, they put father, first time the father and son had ever worked together in a movie. And he said, the neat thing about this is that everyone thinks my son is an American and he's English. Mm -hmm. Because he's, he, he, you know, he, he, he's played Americans for 40 years of his life. His father has this great big distinguished English accent. His son speaks like he's, uh, you know, from, from the Bronx in New York. Well, you know what else I just thought about? Because, you know, they've had this quandary about uh, James Bond. Yeah. Why don't they put Claflin as James Bond? He's, he's tall enough, athletic enough. And uh, he's young enough. Yeah, and he's young enough. Because um, Pierce Brosnan, who's been Bond for years, they wanted to change him out because he thought he was getting too old. Although he is younger than the other James Bond. He, he, he is they're younger. They're trying to replace him with. Yeah, basically, one of the, uh, we've got to put it this way. I mean, uh, everyone knows Sean Bean is in the hunt to play James Bond. Mm -hmm. And and they basically, there's been much discussion about the fact that he would replace somebody that's young enough to be his son. Mm -hmm. And they find that totally, but the problem is, he's tall, good looking and athletic and looks 20 years younger than what he is. Mm -hmm. Whereas the, the oldest James Bond before was Roger Moore, who was basically, we'll put it this way, he made the last James Bond movie in 1985 he worked on Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs as an artist in the 1930s. Well, you know who else? I'm trying to think who else it could have done. Which are older, which would be Hugh Grant, which... I they wanted know. him to be, but he was too short. Oh, really? Yeah. Because he's not that tall. Um, and I'm trying to think of his name. Oh, he's... he's uh, Gerard Butler was in the mix. Oh, uh, Gerard Butler would have been good. But he's also too short. Really? Yeah, he's not as big as he looks. Well... Remember, he's about the same size as Jennifer Aniston. Well, you know, part of it is they just scale all the actors down, don't they? No, because um, the women are all taller now. Oh, that have been there from years to years. Um, yeah. Colin, how about Colin Firth? Colin Firth. Colin Firth is taller. He's maybe older than they want. I know, but he's not the... Colin, he's not the action he, type? He doesn't have the action credentials, no matter that, even though he does do them. Yeah. Actually, Colin Firth is too gay. See, that's his problem. They want the character to be gayer, but Colin Firth is... He made the mistake of... Okay, here, he did what... They said that Doom's every career is to play Alexander the Great. Doom's a career. Oh, and he played Alexander the Great. Yeah. Although he did win an Oscar the last time. Um, Hugh Jackman. Yeah, Hugh Jackman. He, 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 he's um, an Aussie. Yeah, he's an Aussie. But, he, but he's got that accent, which means he could very easily switch from to But don't they Oscar. want really a Brit to play the role? Yeah, because it's a British thing, so... How tall do they have to be? Um, Emerson Cooper could play. We've we, we got to understand, for all practical purposes, he is a pretty He's Australia. He's from Australia. He, so he could much, play. It could be too much money because of all the. Yeah, things. they're looking for somebody that's making less money. But we're gonna, like I said, you know, uh, if Mr. Califan or Mr. Latour would like you know, to be interviewed by the bikinis are is in her not a spring chick business mode, she's perfectly willing to come by and talk to you about the, about the fact that every all the action heroes seem to be European now, mm -hmm. are, are foreign from this country, and they all seem to be taller and more athletic than the American actors. Mm -hmm. Look at how old the athletic American actors are. They're all in their middle 50s upwards. Well, you know what's kind of interesting is um, that, that may be the reason why they went to the people, the other actors from other countries is because of the size. People yeah. thought it was like a snub to the Americans, but There's maybe... Still, there's people out there, though. Okay, um, uh, today... Size does matter sometimes. You know, it is. <laughs> it, it, we're getting the emaciated model look. In a, in you mean the twilight look? The twilight look. <laughs> everywhere. Vampire I, mean, look. I, I saw a guy that I knew that basically is fairly muscular in a vampire movie, and he looks like he's lost 50 pounds of weight to play the lead in it.
really? He is so thin looking, you know, it's just like, uh, you know, he's playing the lead and he looks like he hasn't had anything. Okay, he's surviving off of people's blood and he looks like he hasn't had a drink in at least a year. So, no, but like I said, it's just, it was something that we've been thinking about doing, which is her, you know, in not, you know, you know, yeah, we, we're actually we're going, we're running through the bikinis our side because it gets more attention than mm -hmm. does the not a spring chick side. But it's just an idea that we want to start. And Califan is supposed to be the tour is here now. Actually, we know where he's at. Mm -hmm. Califan is going to be here, you know, um, in August to start work mm -hmm. on the hunts. Those would be the first two we'd like to talk because. Califan is listed as the go as the new golden boy, and Latour is the basically, he is the uh, the guy that all around guy that does everything, mm -hmm. produces, writes, sings. He is basically the uh, as they say the triple threat, ah. and you know he's been a Power Ranger too. So we're we, we'd like to talk to those two just to start. So if you would like to talk to the bikini czar in a serious discussion with not and our not a spring chick thing, you know, we we'll, we would like to talk to you, gentlemen. Our other our other actors like you. If you have if you yeah. have an actor that basically is becoming hot in the action.